Instagram message saying like, I don't know, that she was like so happy that she was messaging me. I'm like famous in her eyes. And I was like, oh my God, I'm like nobody. And I literally mean that because I'm being a creep right now. So Trisha Paytas, like I said in my live yesterday, is on the Cape. And she posted like the area that she's in. So I'm going to the beach right now. Got my bathing suit, freaking tube top on. Like I'm ready. I'm ready to fucking meet Trisha Paytas. Like I'm going to find her. Like it's really going to be easy to spot her, especially like compared to Cape people. So I'm going to fucking try to find her. I'm on the hunt. For fucking Trisha Paytas. <laughs> drunk trying to like see if you would come up and then I asked someone I was like can I please just go down there Aww. like oh my gosh oh you're amazing what's up babe Ruthers <laughs> is that Thank your fans you. Ruthless well babes my Babe. Babes. oh babes okay yes. I love it I didn't know what it was called <laughs> it's okay I mess up everybody's names when I do them so it's okay oh my god I love you oh, Beautiful. I've been like hair. tracking both of you guys, like Aww. trying to figure out where you were. Well, here we are. <laughs> Holy shit! Like dreams fucking came true. Hi, I'm sorry I'm bothering What's your his name? family. Uh, damn, I don't know my name. Johnny. Johnny? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, it says it right there. Yeah. Johnny, nice to meet you. Yes, nice How to meet you. How long have you been too? vlogging for? It? Um, I officially started when I was like 13, but okay. then I just got into it the last year. Okay. Um, I just hit like 4,800. Like. That's great. I know. I'm proud of myself. Fantastic. But... And where do you live here? Um, Plymouth area. Plymouth, so. yep. Excellent. Well, I love it around here. I love the city. I, I, as soon as I was like, wow, I, like I was so surprised that you guys came to the Cape. Like, it's just so, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, that's my family something. over there. I know, so I saw. That's here, why I was so. like, I felt so, like, violating. But I was like, oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we love, we love to meet people. Thank you. you. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I just got back to fucking work. Well, I wasn't even at work. I, like, went home last night. But I just got at work. Um, I'm working tonight. I'm working early. I'm going to go live after this. But I wanted to do this clip because I wanted to, like, vlog this. Like, I don't want it to just be live. I'm going to insert the vlog clips I got. Like, I am just so fucking excited, you guys. I just met. Like, I have been watching this woman since she, like, first moved to L.A. Like, her whole, like her whole life like I well not her whole life but like her whole YouTube career I've basically been watching her because even when she first started I was watching her fucking like I watched like all her old videos like I have watched her from like I don't know for like fucking forever so the fact that I got to meet her and snow the product within the fucking month of June is it still June I don't know you guys I'm just so fucking excited but this has been like the craziest I cried the whole ride here, cried and listened to Moana because I am just so excited. Like you wouldn't believe, okay, so I was like sitting there, I got a Malibu and orange juice, that was my first drink. I chugged that, just anxiety. Because as soon as I walked over and looked at the water, I like she just posted a picture um, saying that her fucking bathing suit, sorry, like fucking things keep coming up. Um, her bathing suit matched the wall, like, the wall decor of the hotel. So I, like, knew what bathing suit she was wearing. And, like, no offense, compared to Kate people, she fucking just looks like Trisha Paytas. Like, I don't know how nobody, like, besides, like, that, I feel like that's why they came to the vacation here. Because they could do it and relax and not have to worry about, like, being bum-rushed. There were some girls out there that, like, definitely wanted to meet her. But they were, like, so shy about it. And I was like, nah, I am not this close to her and not going for it. But, like... Oh my god, so I saw her, I was like drinking my Malibu, and I was like, shit, I don't know what to do, this beach is private, I asked the guy, I was like, oh, can I just bring my drink on the beach? He was like, oh, you can bring it on the beach, but not on the public beach, and I was like, that was basically me referring, saying, if you don't belong on the private beach, don't be on the private beach. And I was like, okay, so I finished that, I went and got back, well, went and got another something, it was like a frozen drink, I don't know, I'm a little tipsy. I'm safely driving. I didn't smoke or anything. Like, it's safe. <laughs> and I think literally the adrenaline rush, like, sobered me the fuck up. But, so, freaking, I lost my train of thought, you guys. <laughs> oh, so, I am I got my second drink. And then I was like, fuck that. I made a call to one of my friends. And I was just like, no, I can literally see her. I can fucking see her. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I'm going to sit up here and get fucking slaughtered until this bitch walks up. Well, not bitch. I'm sorry. If you watch this, like, you're not a bitch. You are my idol. Um, <laughs> I meant that as, like, a term of endearment. Like, you're a friend. <laughs> um, I'm just going to wait for her to walk up here and ask her for a picture. And there was one of, like, the hotel staffs. And I was just, like, I kept saw Like, he was looking over. He was looking over. So I was looking over back at him. And I was, like, honestly, like, um, I'm just, like, over here trying to, like, 
not get slaughtered so can you do me a favor and just let me run onto the beach real quick and try to get this picture um he was like yeah why who are you trying to get a picture with and like he didn't even know who she was like he looked her up and he was like honestly i kind of want to creep on her now too and i was just like literally like she's fucking cute like so i can see like why they fucking came to the cape to like chill because no one's gonna bother you like she was chilling like it was so cute her and like fucking jason like they just look so cute and happy like his whole family and i don't know like whatever they're going through right now and like the shit like i was like reading because i've been creeping so fucking hard on them they've been receiving so much shit between like the breakup and them getting back together they fucking look so happy like no offense like looking as like other people walking by them you wouldn't think they were this like huge couple that just got into a huge relationship they literally just look like a family having fun and it was just like so weird to like like when you guys say like like how i started this off like one of you guys said that fucking i'm one of your inspirations like i'm just a normal person like stalking treasure pages <laughs> but they were like normal people and they were happy so for all you guys to say that you're unfollowing jason you're fucking flipping out on fucking trisha like they're happy leave them a the fuck alone like i literally i don't know this is one of the happiest days of my life and looking into like i was creeping i should like i'll sh insert the little clip i got of me viewing a point to where they were but they were just fucking happy doing them like you guys don't see those like parts of them and you guys don't see the parts of like our lives that we don't insert in clips like they are happy and if they decide to be together let them fucking be together like oh my gosh like i was like reading the comments and i was like you guys this is what i mean some of you guys just really have nothing fucking to do like you guys really just worry about your own relationships <laughs> but i just can't believe i can't believe that was just uh, and i'm not gonna lie i was so jealous i don't i will i actually like i like creep because they're older dancers and i don't want to like make that seem like i'm insulting them they're older dancers so i look to their videos like you guys look to my videos to see if i can gain any insight or advice so i do watch jasmine black and i do watch b and christina and it hurt me i was like oh my god why didn't trisha paytas see my videos like i've been watching her forever so it hurt me that i fucking saw that and in that moment i literally just let go and gave that to christina like she deserved that that's a beautiful woman like she is gorgeous and she's she's earned that like whatever she's done in her life the universe decided to give her that moment from trisha paytas and like here's my fucking moment like i got to fucking meet her i wrapped my arms around her mm, i'm such a creep i literally will never forget this moment in my life i am so fucking excited i am going to roll up go live oh my god you guys like i hope i don't cry on live i like hopefully i got it all out on the ride here but i can't believe i just did that like literally i woke up like i knew last night i was like telling all the girls I was telling all the girls, like, oh my god, Trisha Paytas has posted, like, she is on the cape, like, oh my god, she's 19 minutes away, like, I was being a creep, saying, like, oh my god, come into the club, that would make my fucking life if I got to actually do a dance for Trisha Paytas, but fuck that, um, nope, I'm okay with not doing a dance for her, I will literally... <laughs> except the fact that i got to meet her as a person a stalker creep but i don't care like i'm just so excited um i gotta actually like realize that i have to charge my phone um before i go live because i don't want my phone to die um so i'm gonna charge my phone and then go live before work but i'm just so fucking excited you guys i'm so excited <laughs> um i think i'm gonna end it here but thank you guys for watching me stalk treasure <laughs> please like comment and subscribe bye guys